Yo, what up guys, Markin here, and I want to bring you what I want in Homefront 2. Uh, we all know Homefront 1 played great, had awesome gameplay, was, as Diesel would put it, the bee's knees uh, gameplay-wise. Now there's a few things that I had an issue with. Number one, graphics. This game fucking looked like dog shit. It looked like I was playing NES, Roger Clemens Baseball, Super fucking Tecmo Bowl. Just terrible, 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 terrible graphics. Uh, if I wanted to play my original Sega Master System, I would, I would play that instead of playing this game. If I was looking for a graphically intense game, I would rather play, I don't know, Mario Party? Maybe? They might be a little bit better than this piece of shit graphics game. Uh, other than that, I mean, I don't think that's a huge issue because I'm all about gameplay. As to why I'm playing, once again, this dog shit looking game is because I love gameplay, not graphics. So, Homefront 2 is getting developed by Crytek, who makes Crisis 2. And as everybody knows, Crisis 2 was fucking beautiful. It was as handsome as Noob's father, as Dizo's father, as my dad, as Young's dad. It was a handsome, handsome piece of work. And all of Crytek's games are just as handsome. So I think in terms of visuals, in terms of graphics, Homefront 2 is going to be much, much better than this piece of shit looking game. Um, once again, I don't mind the fact that graphics are terrible, terrible, terrible in this game um, because the gameplay plays so smooth, so solid, and there's really nothing wrong with the game except the way it looks. The other main thing that I would want changed in the game would be the recoil on the weapons. Every single one of these weapons fires like it's a fucking BB gun. You can hold the trigger down as long as you want and you're just gonna get a constant spray of bullets. Some weapons pull up just just slightly, just a little bit, uh, but most weapons are just, just constant laser beams to your heart, to your face. It doesn't it doesn't matter. So when I shoot weapons, I want them to feel like weapons. I don't want them to feel like I'm, I'm playing with toy guns because I'm feeling these through a controller and through a mouse. I want them to feel realistic. I don't, I don't want them to, to handle like they're just fucking Fisher-Price bullshit toys. I, I want some weight on the weapons. Uh, Battlefield did that very well. Uh, yeah, everybody knows that. I mean, Call of Duty even has more recoil on their weapons than Homefront. I, I'm willing to say that. I'm willing to say an ACR in Modern Warfare 3 may have more recoil than an ACR in Homefront. And you know what? You'll actually be able to see it because although Modern Warfare 3's graphics suck, they're not fucking Super Nintendo Donkey Kong graphics as this game is. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. So we have graphics, we have recoil, hmm, what else would I like to change with Homefront? Oh, reason number three, I think, would be graphics. The graphics in this game, game just weren't up to snuff, so if I were to come with a third reason, on top of reason one and reason two, things I want to change, I think it may possibly be graphics. Uh, I don't know what I'm holding now. Is it a gun? Is it a cardboard box with paint on it? Nope. Nobody knows because it looks like a garbage pail. I I don't I don't know what else to tell you guys. It's just it's a great game, awesome game. I love it. That's why I'm still playing it years down the road when it's no longer nobody cares about anything. And I'm also playing it on PC, which is fucking hack central. I used to enjoy this game. I got on for a couple games tonight, and it's fucking hack, 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 hack. Every time I turn the fucking corner, hacker, hacker, hacker. It's 
really aggravating and it makes me sad on my insides. So, home front two, I have good hopes. Like I said, Crytek is going to make it, so it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to look great, and also, Crytek makes great games. So if you played Crisis, you know it handles well, it plays really good. And on the plus side, you get the phenomenal Crisis 2 kill cam. If you ever wanted a good kill cam in a game, you take a look at that piece of shit kill cam. Where did I get killed from? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. So at Homefront 1's graphics with Crisis 2 kill cam, we're going to have a gem. But in all seriousness, it's an awesome game, and I have high hopes. I'll catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching.